Hi, in this video I want to show you a book that I've had for quite some time. This is a book that I actually used for a course and I think it's a pretty good book. It's not perfect, um, but it's pretty good and the reason it's not perfect is for one reason only. <laughs> so it's a soft cover and it doesn't um, stay open. So if, well, okay, in that case it's staying open, but I remember when I was using this to do homework and stuff, like you have to like put something here to keep it open or use like, um, you know, one of those things that holds books open. This book has a lot of content that other books on complex variables don't have. So let's just go through it and see what's inside it. So it's called Complex Variables, Introduction and Applications. It's the second edition. It's by Ablowitz and Focus. This is a fantastic book. Here it talks a little bit about it. The study of complex variables is important for students in engineering and the physical sciences and is a central subject in mathematics. In addition to being mathematically elegant, complex variables provide a powerful tool for solving problems that are either very difficult or virtually impossible to solve in any other way. That's true. I can think of some integrals that can be pretty challenging. Then here it talks about you know, the text. Part one of the text provides an introduction to the subject including analytic functions, integration, series, and residue calculus. It also includes transform methods, ordinary differential equations in the complex plane, numerical methods, and more. So part one is typically what you would study in an undergraduate course. So if you're in college at a university, they usually have a course called complex variables. And in order to take that course, you have to have you know, some calculus, but you can take it. Usually Calc 3 is the prereq, and you learn all this stuff. Part two has more advanced stuff, conformal mappings, asymptotic expansions, and the study of Riemann-Hilbert problems. The authors provide an extensive array of applications, illustrative examples, and homework exercises. This new edition has been improved throughout and is ideal for an introductory undergraduate and graduate level courses in complex variables. So I should mention that I use this for a graduate level course. Um, the professor basically, you know, he had really good notes and he would assign us some homework problems. Uh, and some reading from from the book. So we did we did use the book a little bit. And here are the people. Ablowitz and Focus, uh, University of Colorado Boulder and University of Cambridge. And then here's the copyrights. So apparently this is the second edition, so there are some some older ones. So first published in '97, reprinted in '99 and 2000. So this is this is 2005. Wow, it's a reprint. And then here's a, a look at um, the topic. It says sections denoted with an asterisk, asterisk can be either omitted or read independently. So it starts with the basic stuff, complex numbers. This is really basic. Limits, continuity. So you need to know some calculus ideally before you jump into this. Once you know some calculus, you can jump in. You, you, you'll probably get hung up on the proofs unless you're really good at writing proofs or have some proof knowledge so that you, at least you can start working through it. Um, the, the proofs often hang people up. But there's a lot of computational stuff, Cauchy-Riemann equations. This is all stuff you learn in um, a complex variables course. It's an undergrad, Cauchy's theorem. Then we have uh, some more stuff here. Sequences, series, and singularities of complex functions. Again, this is all undergraduate stuff. There's some theoretical stuff. Notice the starred sections, infinite products, differential equations in the complex plane. It's pretty cool. Then residue calculus, again, things that you learn um, in an undergrad course. And then you have these starred sections. And then part two is where it gets a little more advanced. So this is stuff that you typically, I mean, you might learn some conformal mapping as an undergrad, but not always. It's typically at the end of the textbooks. If you, if you look at an undergraduate book on complex variables, typically this is like near the end. So you don't always get there when you're in a classroom. And then here we have some more stuff here so you can see some more of the topics. So this book is is a gold mine for topics, right? That's really what makes it such a great book is that it actually contains mathematics that other books don't contain. So you're gonna find math in this book that is not in other books. None of this stuff is typically found in other complex variables books. Like if you pick up the book by Brown and Churchill and stuff, you're not gonna find a lot of these things. You'll find some of them, but not, but not a lot of them, right? You'll find, it'll touch on certain topics, but this is way more comprehensive. And then you do have answers to uh, the odd numbered exercises. So let's just take a look at a random section. Um, let's just go to like, let's say the first section. So you can see where it starts. And you can see here how 
it's it's really geared towards you know an, inter an introduction. You could sit down and you can read this, and I, I feel like most people watching this video could read this and understand most of it. Um, it's not that bad, at least at the beginning. Right? It does get a lot harder. This problem, this book does have some harder problems too in the uh, exercises, I, exercises I know because I had to do a lot of them for homework and some of them are pretty tough. There's some cool stuff in here though. And it, it moves pretty quickly. See how quick? It's already talking about multi-valued. I mean, it's, it's pretty quick. A much faster pace than uh, your typical introductory book on complex variables. So if you've seen complex variables before, this is, this is a pretty good choice. Again, only con in my opinion is that it's a soft cover. That's the only thing I don't like about this book. And, and again, it doesn't, it's laying flat here, but it doesn't always lay flat. Then here's some problems. Let's take a look at these. Express each of the following complex numbers in polar exponential form. So you've got some, some exercises here. And then here you have to express them in the form A plus BI, where A and B are real. Kind of fun, Got some fun problems. Let's look at the ones here. Solve for the roots of the following, following equations. Establish the following results and proofs. I actually have videos for, for perhaps for most of these. Yeah, not all of them, but most of them. And there's another problem there a little bit longer. And then elementary functions and stereographic projections. So it talks about functions. So it, it, it gets significantly more challenging you know, it's already talking about some topological concepts like the boundary point, interior point. These are topological concepts. So, you know, compact, you know, region that is both closed and bounded is called compact. So it's, it's sophisticated, right? It is a sophisticated math book. It's not intended for like ultra beginners. Like if you're in college algebra and you've never had calculus, this is probably not a book that you would benefit greatly from right now. However, however, there, there's no... People always say like, oh, am I ready to study this? Am I ready to learn this? I mean, you can always just jump in with the sharks or just jump in and, and just jump in to the deep end and you'll be confused, but you'll, you'll pick up some of it and you'll be exposed to some of it. Uh, certainly, again, a, a more advanced complex variables book. Here's some exercises for 1.2. So sketching regions, I remember doing this uh, in class. Mm-hmm. Some series stuff. Use any method to determine the series expansion for the following functions. This is pretty easy. And then you have some, some little proofs here. So it's not super hard, right? Not, the problems aren't insane, but th again, there are some harder ones, right? There are some challenging problems, especially as you go further in the book to the more advanced topics. You know, you, some of the stuff gets a little bit more involved. Limits, continuity, and complex differentiation. So now you're you know, doing more calculus here. Limits are something you learn in calculus. Let's, let's take a look at the back of the book so we can see the um, answers. There's a good index too, so it's a great reference also. I should mention that. Because it contains so many topics, this is a great reference. So if you need a, a solid complex variables book that has a lot of content, this is pretty good. So here you see the answers to the odd numbered exercises in the back of the book. Let's just skip ahead and you see like, let's go further, further in. You see, it doesn't have a lot, but it's got, it's got some stuff. So it's got some stuff. So it's better than nothing. I gotta give it a whiff here. It's just, ah, it's just really nice. Let's just take a look at some of the more advanced things. Let's just go like to, I don't know, here. Evaluation of certain definite integrals. This is uh, residue calculus and the applications of contour integration. So you can see some of the mathematics there. That's found in this book. So it's pretty serious math. Um, again, this is a book that can be used as an intro uh, book uh, for undergrads or as a grad level book. Uh, but again, the introductory stuff is pretty terse. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, you take a book like Dumb It and Foot. It's an abstract algebra book that's really famous. And that's, that's an introductory book, right? You could use that to learn abstract algebra, but it's, it's also a grad lo graduate level book and it contains tons of content, right? And, it's, it's kind of the same in the sense that it moves really quickly at the beginning. So this moves really, really quickly at the beginning. Um, so not the easiest book for beginners. But yeah, I like it. I recommend it. I think it's a great book. Um, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description of this video in case you want to check it out. By the way, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform. Udemy is a reputable place to have courses. 
But if you decide to get them, please use the links from my website because it helps me and I lowered the price to the bare minimum. So when you use my links, you should get a low price, mathsorcer.com. But yeah, hopefully you found some value in this content. Key takeaways, this is a great book uh, meant for beginners, although it's a kind of a fast paced book for beginners. So there are easier books perhaps. Uh, however, this contains uh, tons of knowledge, so much knowledge that you can use it in a grad level course as well. Also serves as an excellent reference. It does have some answers, but honestly, <laughs> I speak from experience here. It'd be much, much nicer if it had more answers and it doesn't. Um, yeah, a lot of memories with this book. I like it. I think it's pretty good. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.